Alrighty, so today I'm going to show you how to turn this product into this photo with this camera. It kind of sounds like those, you know, what's it called, maracas? So this shot is actually fairly simple to accomplish. We're going to use a Sony a7R II with the Sony 28-70. Good lens, does the work. We're going to combine this with a background. Um, I'm not sure which, which color yet. Black, blue, white, pink, red, white. Pretty, pretty standard. I mean, if the picture is gonna be, you know, on a, on a website or shopping, then yeah, white is, white is probably the way to go. And we're gonna use a fairly simple light setup. We're gonna use two lights, um, one straight above and one like from the side or straight in front. We're gonna figure this out. And these lights I got from Amazon for like 70, 75 bucks. They're good. All right, so I'm already noticing a problem. Um, this product doesn't quite, uh, you know, stand very good. Um, it's, it's oval on all sides, why? Okay, I think I solved it. Um, if we take um, my fiance's nail polish, put it on the table and put a product on there, Ah, a bit of separation from the ground. Because if you put it like straight on the table, we'll get these harsh shadows on the side. So if we lift it up a bit, aha, uh -huh, no more shadows. That's a quick tip from Alesso. So the same principle applies as if you would have the subject separated from the background. You want to have the subject separated from the table. Lift it up so you don't cast harsh shadow directly on the surface. Yeah, now it's just to, uh, to take in the photos. Um, we're having to deal with a corrupted file, so unfortunately the file where I took the photos is missing. Wow, amazing. You're just gonna have to go with the flow here. But we had a light straight from above, we had a light 40-45 degree angle above, but still on the side, you know, so you don't get the shadows, because we had the, the ambient light of the windows from the back. Um, yeah, simple setup, two lights, one above, one in front. Camera straight above, photographing down the product. Um, yeah, that's it. So yeah, let's get to editing. And boom, time lapse over. Photography went well. And again, no, no file. I mean, we just had a product laying down here as you saw. We took the photos and we just packed everything down neatly again. So you don't have a mess at home, because that sucks. So now we have the photos raw in the computer. We're gonna try to edit them, make them look good. I'm thinking we might have a, a shadow and maybe some you know, because on the product, let me, let, me, let me see. Like on this, for example, we have like a melon and some leaves and, and stuff. It would be kind of cool to have some of those elements with the product as well. Like, you know, it's, it's a melon beside the product. You know, th does it make sense? All right, so I'm going to share my computer screen, like right up here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And we're just going to have a little talk. I'm going to explain as I'm doing. So we're going to start with the picture and, you know, Boost the contract, boost the clarity, boost the whites, lower the highlights, boost the blacks. Um, just make the picture look good. Stand out the product and make the white become even more white, whitish, you know. All right, so when you find an edit you're pleased with, I like this one, we're gonna jump into Photoshop and make this look even better. So I'm gonna start by pressing W and select the object. I wanna mask it out because, you know, I wanna have it separated from the background yet again. Duplicate the layer, flip it around vertically, lower the opacity, take a brush, and just lick some uh, dust it off, you know, to make it look like a reflection. That looks good. I mean, one of the main reasons that I want this reflection is because, well, I, I mean, a customer might think that the product is standing, but I know, we know, we, we saw us taking the photos. Yeah, just, we know that the product is shot from like, above and down. I, I want to make it as clear as possible that the product was actually standing, but... Um, ah! Hey! Look at that! We had the product lying down, so you get all the little balls up to the top, but if you if we actually were to have it standing, all the balls would go down. See that? Ha! Ah, a positive outcome! So that's why I want to have the reflection going down, because the customer would see this and say, whoa! Amazing job. So yeah, the main thing that I like to focus on with these types of photos is to um, emphasize the product as much as possible. So in this case, we have these colorful little balls. We have the product, we wanna make it stand out on a white background. We wanna emphasize the product even more by having the object it's supposed to taste like on the side and also have the reflections down because 
what you don't need to have reflections but it, it looks it looks neat it looks nice but of course this method varies depending on what you're shooting uh last time we did a shoot with a deodorant and this you know the hawaiian tropical sunscreen those were kind of different because we want to light the object with wait let me see with this light because we, we want to get this you know summery vibe so oh shit so it's a more orange light we can also have it let me see no no ah shit. yeah we can also have it like change color so depending on what you want to and it's dead awesome so depending on the product and the shoot you need to change up the scenario and the means of you know attacking the problem so to speak um when taking these types of photos this worked kind of perfectly with this product um with other not so much so yeah i don't know if this tutorial was comprehensive whatsoever but this is kind of the process when i take my product photos i get the product i kind of experiment how to best emphasize the product and put focus on a product then i get to the shooting and you know i, I have a fairly done plan in my head but as as is with digital media it can always change in editing so as we as we saw we did you know the the reflection the the melon the reflection of the melon um and and this process of course works for the the lemon one and the bubblegum one and uh, yeah that, that was all so yeah i hope this tutorial ish what you want to call it was helpful if you're in a scenario where you're taking part of photos or planning to take part of photos but don't know where to start um i'm planning to do more videos about you know the editing the planning the like the main execution Ex is it called execution you know when you when you're doing something the yeah so you know kind of everything from the planning to the actual editing and delivery of a finished product shot or lifestyle shot or whatever you're specializing in um but as they as they say it's a journey you know the flavor is uh, like the butt it's it's an expression in swedish Smoking as on Balkan. And with that said, I think we're gonna round up this video. Uh, maybe go for a walk or a poop or sleep. I don't know what your what your plans are today. All right, awesome. Is it normal to talk to your animals? I don't know. Feels kind of stupid.